guys, welcome to Adabai Central channel, I'm Joe Snow. Today I have for you the new version of FC365 Farmer Manager and more important, the updated version of Libby mobile device which is compatible with iPhone 6, 6s, 5s, 6s Plus and all 64-bit devices and also is compatible with iOS 10. You probably know I released such version for Linux and OS 6 in this video right here on my channel. Uh, a couple days ago, four days ago, if you look right here, and some people told me in the comment section they are not able to create it on their OS 6 or on their Linux. They cannot install Linux on their computers or they cannot run Mac uh, because they don't, uh, they don't have a compatible computer to transform it in a Hackintosh computer or they don't have a legit Mac. And so I decided to release a uh, LiveView mobile device updated version for Windows. Well, it's not created by me, it's created by the Libby mobile device team or ho however they are called and it's available on GitHub. If you go right here on github.com slash Libby mobile device, you can see right here the Libby mobile device project was updated three days ago. So you can only get the updated version right here because they post the project but, but they do not post the pre-compiled versions which means that you are not able to simply download it and use it. If you download it or clone it by pressing this button right here, you will get the thing I got right here, which is the source code of those things. For example, the restore part and yeah, the iDevice restore is this one. If you open this thing, it will open in Visual Studio if you have it installed. In my case, I have both 2012 and 2015 and uh, it will start automatically as a project or as a uh, file, a programming file, but will not let you use the application. This is why you need to compile it and this is why people couldn't use it directly from GitHub because it requires you some programming knowledge and some compilation knowledge with mean GW. Okay, I'm going to wait for it to load. Okay, so here is the iDevice Restore C it's a uh, C++ application and contains right here everything you see in the application. This is the source code. The source code is available for public. It's a, an open source application. You can, you can check the code right here and you can do whatever you want with the code. You can modify it however you want as long as you check the uh, license. But you cannot use it in this format if you are not familiar with programming languages which means that you need a compiled version. The one the, the one that you've seen the codes for in the uh, previous seconds, I'm going to show you after compilation. Okay, and this is the application that you compile in the end. As you can see, is the uh, Libby Mobile Device, I Device Restore part, and how you can tell if it's the new version or not. I'm going to show you. I'm going to start another CMD. I'm going to go on Libby Mobile Device here. In this folder, I have a uh, 2015 version created by Quamotion, which was not updated ever since. And uh, this is what you can find on the internet, pre-compilated. And I'm going to grab the iDevice Restore application from here. And as you can see, when you compare them head to head, they are different. At first, you can see right here, there is a huge difference because at first you don't have the home page in the uh, Qua Motions version from uh, 2015 and on the latest version you do have the home page link libymobiledevice.org and probably one or two features from here are missing I cannot tell or probably not I cannot tell but this is the um, the main difference and uh, how you can compile it I mean it's pre-compilated already, but how you can use this thing to compile it if you don't want to use my binaries because you're afraid of viruses, which you don't get because check this out. Yeah, but if you are afraid or if you're paranoid and you're afraid of getting a virus from my binaries, you can use Ming GW in order to this one in order to compile this version and to create it your own for your own binaries. Here on the uh, on the README you have what you need the development the development packages for and the software that you need to have. And this is the compile command you need to use in order to I don't know to create this thing. You can use MINGW or if you're on Linux you can simply use the terminal or on OS X. 
this is basically it about the uh, Lightbeam mobile device. As I said, this one is compatible with 32-bit um, devices on the, uh, sorry, 32-bit devices and 64-bit devices on the latest version and also on iOS 10. You can download it from the description. Now about FC365 Firmware Manager, it was also updated. As I promised, I, I introduced the Retrieve Keys button for Encryption Part 2, as well as for this one. In my previous build, I only introduced this one. And now if you click the select one thing from here, for example, the uh, keys for 9.2.1, and you keep, click export keys, they are being exported in both of these fields, so you just have to import the um, DMG files after all. I also updated a little bit the legal agreement. You are um, supposed to read this thing and to get to know what is it about, to know your rights. And also I updated a little bit the engines and the uh, restore part. If you go here to firmware restore, it is based on Libby mobile device. Until this version, it was based on the um, Libby mobile device created by uh, or compilated by Quamotion, which was not updated. Now I updated the software to use the latest build, which makes it compatible with 64-bit uh, devices and also with the um, iOS 10, making the application updated again. You can download it as well from the description. I really hope this recap of the uh, what's in this video helped you to understand more what we were talking about today. And also you can download them as always from the description. Do not forget to check my channel for any other kind of iOS related videos. For example, Cydia tweaks, tutorials, macOS tutorials, chill break news, iCloud bypass research or any other stuff like this. And yeah, do not forget to subscribe if you like the videos I post or if I help you and tell me in the comment section down below what else would you need to know and I will make a video about it. Thanks for watching, peace out.